But yeah. okay, now what's our next match? WrestleMania 13. Imagine that for over a decade you have fought to reach the pinnacle of your profession. Then you walk away. When you return six months later, nothing is the heart? same. Mm -hmm. I've been screwed by Shawn Michaels. I've been screwed by Stone Cold Steve Austin. You scratch my back and I'll stab yours. There is no respect. Everybody in that dressing room knows that I'm the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be. Even your Someone had a sign that Bret Hart makes me puke or something? This yes. Is this is about the, um... Oh, is this when he was like be becoming like like the uh, like can patriotic Canadian? Yeah, and the heel. Okay, yeah, except in unless we except when he was in Canada. Yeah, Bret Hart can do no wrong in Canada. Um, this man mocks your legacy. Bret Hart on his best day can't lace my boots. I will beat the hell out of Bret. Yep. He actually was not around that long, right? I mean, at least I mean, like it like his peak because he he got yeah. injured. Yeah. You're the one who okay, so is Austin the reigning champion for this match? Uh, no, I believe this is just a grudge match. Oh, this isn't a okay. This isn't a title match. Okay. I think this isn't just the grudge match. I quit. So it's Stone Cold versus Bret Hart. Yeah, this is an interesting one because this is the official uh, face turn for Stone Cold Steve Austin and the official heel turn for Bret Hart. Okay. Let's see. Oh, that's right. Yeah, WrestleMania thir WrestleMania was this 13? Mhm. Mm Happened Rosemont Rosemont Horizon. Right here mm -hmm. right here in uh right here in my neck of the woods. I've I've been there for not not for WrestleMania, but but right. went to a hockey game there once. Chicago Wolves. They got curb stomped like 5 nothing or something. <laughs> the crowd turned ugly by the beginning of the third period. There were, like, people throwing garbage onto the rink. And then this massive fight broke out for no reason, and several of the wolves were ejected from the game. Wow. All right. So I Emerson, like, in Palmer there once, played there, too, once. At the 97 Royal Rumble, Hart had eliminated Austin, but the officials didn't see it. Austin would later interfere and eliminate Hart, and their rivalry uh, would reach a boiling point where they agreed to meet at a no-disqualification match in WrestleMania 13. Uh, it began in... Their rivalry between them began in the 96 King of the Ring tournament. Hart, who was inactive due to injuries, found himself on the receiving end of the vitriolic insults from the vitriolic. Texas Rattlesnake. Vitriolic. I knew that. I'm sorry, go ahead. Uh, uh, he would return in October 96 and responded to his insults, which only elevated the rivalry. And apparently, uh, I, if I had to guess, the booking was for Hart to come back as a face, uh, Stone Cold as a heel, but the uh, fans in Hart's absence uh, got over with Austin, who they saw him as a face. Okay. And so they would do a uh, on-the-fly face-heel turn at WrestleMania 13. I see. So the question is, nope, the glass shattering effect is apparently part of the theme song. <laughs> this is back when it was still called the Rosemont Horizon. It's the Allstate Arena now. Cause right. Be because we, we can't have venues with cool names in Illinois anymore, I guess. You can't have venues with cool names anywhere. That's true. My old hometown, we had, the, it was the Sacramento Arco Arena, right? Okay. Alliteration works. Arco, you know, is okay because that's who owned it. Arco, the Arco Arena then got bought out by Power Balance. Mm -hmm. you know who power? You know Power Balance, right? The company that produces those wristbands that say they make you stronger and more balanced. <laughs> I've not heard of this. No. There are these little rubber wristbands. I'm intrigued by this product. Huh? I'm intrigued by this product. There are these little rubber wristbands with supposedly magnetic discs in them mm -hmm. that are supposed to harmonize your energy and make you stronger, faster, and more balanced. So they're fueled by, they're powered by bullshit, in other words. Yeah, they're okay. they're the biggest snake oil. Okay. But they exploded. Like it was a couple years ago where like everybody was using them, 
professional athletes too were buying into it. And they were like fifteen, sixteen dollars these rubber wristbands. <laughs> I, I I missed this trend. I <laughs> I'm sad to say. Like that is like it probably cost ten cents to produce those wristbands. That is like a sixteen hundred dollar sixteen hundred percent uh <laughs> point of profit but in any case what you have like a power balance stadium in your out there it now? was it was the power balance pavilion but <laughs> then obviously like a year after that company went under because everybody's like this product is bullshit and then was sold to sleep train so it's now the sleep train arena sleep train arena yeah it was arco arena or or maybe it's Sleep Train Stadium. I can't remember. It was the Argo Arena for like 20 years. They named roads and businesses around it after <laughs> it. And then it just changed. Yeah, we've got we've got the Allstate Arena. We've got U.S. Cellular Field. Nice. Where the uh, where the White Sox play. Oh, and the Red Sox are Boston, right? Yeah. I was always confused by the sock stuff. All right, so I am a uh, Bret Hart. Oh, here we go. Here's a walkthrough of limb targeting. Okay. When I grapple an opponent and hold R1, I can choose which area to attack. Okay. Triangle or the top button will attack the head. Square and circle will attack the arms, and X will attack the legs. Okay, that makes sense. Seems fairly intuitive. Yeah. Match stimulation. Win by submission. Now, what's your historical objective there? Uh, the first one is to get Austin to light damage uh, outside the ring within two minutes of the match beginning. Okay. And use the ring use the ring bell on Austin. Yep. Actually, since this is a no disqualification match, you don't have to. Worry. Yeah, you can't be. Oh yeah, yeah. Just, just, just come back into the. Just run, leave to come back with a gun. I can just go grab. <laughs> come back with a gun. Oh god. Oh god. He's pulled me down. Twice to the center of mass, then a third to the brain. What? What is it you hit him with there? Uh, I hit him with, that is the ring bell. Oh, okay. He tried to make me submit on a no DQ match. So here again is the sledgehammer. <laughs> yeah, they're really stretching sp suspension of disbelief. I don't know if you've watched in a while, uh, but yeah, Triple H's like, signature weapon is the... Oh god damn it. What the sledgehammer? Yeah, the sledgehammer. Okay, you know, between that and the, the him being on that giant like, you know, barbarian throne or whatever. It's like it's not like he's he's basically Shao Kahn now. I showed you that, right? Like his WrestleMania 30 entrance? I think so. Where he's yeah, he's got like a golden Skeletor helmet and uh like um ruling WWE from atop his throne of skulls. Yeah, and like um Servant girls, like, <laughs> feeding him grapes and stuff. I, I, I believe the technical term is wenches. Yeah, and Stephanie McMahon is like surprisingly okay with this. <laughs> with, with her, She's... with her husband, donning a skull helm and being, <laughs> be, no, being, well, like... being pleasured by courtesans. She's like standing there smiling like she always does, looking on. <laughs> All right, he's got a kendo stick now. Which is under the ring for some reason. It's not as bad as the cookie sheet. I suppose. That always makes me laugh that there's a cookie sheet <laughs> under there. Uh oh. Let me get this actually. Yeah, this doesn't feel as fast as a kendo stick should. I mean, I get that they're going for the, um, the, you know, wrestling vibe where everybody telegraphs attacks really hard, but 
it doesn't feel fast. Like none of the weapons feel any that much different. Mm. How many weapons are there? Um, chair, table, ring, the various belts. Oh God! Oh, you can hit people with the belts. Yeah. Is it like in like in the the show where like it like it does like an unreasonable amount of damage when you hit a guy with a belt for some reason? Yes. Okay. Good. It's always I'm, every time I've ever watched it, it's like if whenever someone gets when, like whenever someone is like hit in the face with a belt, it's like it's like a cannonball just tore their head off or something. I know. They just They're just flying. laying there like like I can't believe it. I can't believe it. The weight happened. of decades of wrestling history just <laughs> knocks them on their ass. Okay, now that thing that shows, uh, you know, like the human figure. Yeah. The, the parts that are orange are, are the are the orange parts. The, does that mean what's damaged? Yeah. Okay. So his head parts? is in the red right now. Okay. Uh, and his, his legs, legs are, are in the orange. Orange. Okay. Surprisingly, I I haven't hit his body all that much. Oh God. Okay. And so he's he's fairly undamaged there. You gotta get his legs to so my current objective is to get his legs to critical damage. Okay. And so right now he's picking up the steel steps, another weapon. Kind of awkward to but, bring into the ring with you. Yeah. The one thing about the oh, oh shit, no oh like, no oh. oh that's a pretty good setup. That uh, was even that I was. I think I'm st oh god. That was fucking brutal. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the good thing about the weapons is that they're actually really slow. So for the most part, it's uh incredibly difficult for um if you know it's coming, it's pretty hard for them to hurt you. Okay. Can you can you like counter it or Yeah, you can do a reversal and usually you'll either steal or like Disarm counter it? the weapons. Okay. Right now, I'm just trying to focus on the legs. Work the oh goddamn it! Can you ever get salt and throw it in people on people? I don't think so. Yeah. I think that's like a manager thing. Uh, you can get a manager, and they will distract the referee. Okay. But usually at their own discretion. Okay. God damn it! You know what? I just realized I want to play. Huh? Kairosoft Wrestling Stable Management Game. I would play the shit out of a Cairo South wrestling game. I want that. And the thing is, they're in Japan, too. They would love that stuff. Oh, yeah, wrestling is big there. That need that need that needs to be a thing. So it should be a thing. All right, let's see if that's enough to get him. No? Fuck you. Still haven't gotten the legs? Nope. Oh god, he hit me with a stunner. Oh, I thought you were... At least you missed the stairs. I love the fingers, though. That's that's hilarious to me. God, what do I have to do? Sledgehammer to the kneecaps. I, I guess, just actually break his legs. I get it, Stone Cold Steve Austin's tough. Do a Nancy Kerrigan on him. <laughs> Too soon, perhaps. Uh-oh, he's getting something. Is that a bat? Yeah, that one was a bat. Oops. I threw the sledgehammer at him. <laughs> oh, there we oh, go. He's in re oh, he's red. Hit him with the sharpshooter. Now his legs are crippled. Now with the sharpshooter, they the just sharp like they just tear right off his pelvis. <laughs> sharp shooter, sharp shooter. He's got him on. Austin cannot he's crawling for the ropes. This is yep. Break the grip? Or, okay. Or did he? Oh, yep. oh Bret Hart still has it on. I thought for sure Austin broke it, but no. Stone Cold trying to reach that rope. Austin will not. 
Oh man, he's. I know. He's donned the crimson mask. <laughs> I don't know who I was doing an impression of there. <laughs> There's something about you know hit, hit, you know Hitman's you know attire there. Something about a grinning skull on a purple background doesn't really work. I know. Ah, oh, did he submit? No, he did not. He passed out. Oh, okay. Well, then he can't technically submit. No, but the uh, referee declares it no longer... Uh, De the fight doc but. has declared him dead. Yeah. <laughs> Unable to compete. And so, yeah, this was the heel turn for Bret Hart. So and do uh, I guess, so do I guess you getting or? beaten up is the face turn okay. for Steve Austin. Okay. Austin, he was like, yeah, remember, he was like the biggest thing since Hulk Hogan for a little while. Yep. Pretty much everything he said. Austin 316. I'd still wear a shirt that says Austin 316. What was the origin of that, by the way? I mean, I know um, it's a Bible, Bible verse reference, but like, why, why, how did he start saying that? I just remember him getting interviewed. I think, I think somebody might have con like suggested to him uh, that all his profanity and vulgarity that he needs God. Oh, okay. It was like a it was a response to a question. And then he, he, he and then he decreed yeah. the birth of a new faith. Yeah, he's he's he said. Uh, I remember he was just going on and on about something, and he said, "Well, let me tell you something." Austin 316 says, I just whooped your ass. Okay. And then everybody just cheers. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Why not? And now the fires of hell come to claim him for his blasphemy. <laughs> <laughs> WWE 